guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know where to start for the changes I've made with all this. It's going to be impossible for me to cover everything that I've done to this project since my last video on the AI. But I'm just going to do an overview of what I've done. Uh, I would not try to follow along because the state machine has, you know, it's, it's not small. It's, I'm not going to be able to cover everything here in one video. I'll do my best to help you understand what all I've done. Really what I've done is the, the previous video. So, okay. In the previous video we had field zones, right? Well, now we have more field zones. So, you know, there's, there's uh, what's the word? I don't know. There, there's more field zones and they're smaller. So we have, I guess, more control over where our player moves to uh, with the AI. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But uh, what I've done is I've, instead of doing my own state machine, I decided to use the Mechanum Animator state machine. If you didn't know the uh, Mechanum system is a state machine. Like it's, that's what it is. That's how it operates. And what's really cool is you can attach your own scripts, uh, to each one of these states where you can put your logic, your, your logic. Uh, so, uh, let me just show you like the very first state we're saying hey is this game active or not like are we playing a game or is it is it is it uh are we in the main menu what's going on so if you notice each one of these each one of these scripts with our logic does not derive from a mono behavior uh it derives from state machine behavior and with state machine behavior you actually get five built-in methods but I only use these three. There's another one for something about IK and then another one. I don't remember, but these three are really all you need. Uh, on state enter, on state update, and on state exit. Uh, enter is just like a start method in a mono behavior. Uh, update is just like the update, and exit is just like the exit. It's pretty self explanatory. In uh, our update methods, where we want to put our transitions. So we'll say, hey, if the, if the game is active, game manager instance, game active, then we want to set our bool that we created in our animator. If we go back here in our animator, we've got a bunch of parameters. You know, game active has possession, team has possession, pass, shoot, yeah, all this good stuff. So this is where we, you know, do our transitions. <clears throat> we click on the arrows and the lines we can see, you know, team has possession is true. That's when it's going to fire off to of this state. So we'll say, Hey, is game active or not? And if game active is true, we move to the next state team possession. Hey, who has the ball? Does our team have possession or does the other team have possession? If our team has possession. Then we move to player possession. That's the, Hey, do we have the ball or does another player on our team have the ball? You know, if that's true, if we have the ball, if that's true, we're going to, we're going to choose a zone to advance to. We're going to look around at all these zones and we're going to pick one to advance to. Then once we pick one, we advance the ball and then we're going to go back and forth between these two states. You know, we're going to say, choose zone to advance to, then advance to that zone. Once we get to that zone, we're going to choose another one to advance to, and then we're going to come back here and advance unless we decide to pass or shoot before that. If we don't have the ball, it, but our team has the ball, we're going to choose a new attack zone. Basically the same thing right here. We're just going to choose a zone to attack and we're going to move to that attack zone. If we are receiving a pass, we're going to come down here to receive pass and we're going to move towards the ball. Now let's go back over here to where it'll say, Hey, if our team doesn't have possession, we're going to seek our home zone. We're going to go back to play defense where we play defense. If you notice these big squares right here, these are danger zones. So if the other team has the ball in the danger zone, then we are going to seek danger zone. And all that is, is just like the home zone, except we're closer to the goal. We just move closer to the goal. Um, 
Yeah, and so we also got seek ball. So if we get close enough to the ball, we're gonna decide to seek it. We're gonna go after it. Pretty much the state machine right there. Uh, I don't really want to get into like showing y'all every single state, you know, the logic behind it. And like I said, it's gonna be on my GitHub. Uh, so I would just go in and look at it for yourself. Uh, but. I'll just give you an example another well okay so what's really cool about this is you can you can see you can visualize you can see exactly what state the player is in let's select an away player and you can see it firing off down there see home zone if I get close to him, he's going to seek the ball. So yeah, we've, we've got it so the AI can pass it to each other now. They're going to pass it whenever, like, let's give them the ball back. They pass it whenever they're covered. They, uh, I don't know why the goalie went running up there, but anyways, give them the ball back. So if we run close to them, they're going to pass it. Pass. Pass. Now, if they get to where they can shoot it, meaning they get close enough to the goal and they're not covered and they can shoot, there's a certain percent chance that they'll take a shot. Let's see if we can get them to shoot. Um, they're still pretty dumb. Shoot the ball. Come on. There, he shot it. Wasn't a good shot, but he shot it. Shot it again, went right to us. Shoot it. Oh my God, I can't believe they won't shoot it. There we go. See if they can make one. I digress. That doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. Uh, I'll try to make some more videos going through the logic of this date machine more. Um, but that is where we stand right now. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do. There's a lot of bugs. Sometimes they get stuck in these states and they just, they just like, they don't move. And yeah, so it's pretty much where all the fun stuff comes in, where you just go through and you try to figure out why is it stuck and you gotta figure it out but yeah that's what i'm doing with this with this uh series i'm trying to figure out how to make a soccer game so i apologize to where this is pretty much impossible to follow along with but you know one day if i get this figured out and it's glorious i'll go back through and i guess remake it and uh you know, make a tutorial, a good tutorial series on it, because I wouldn't call this good. This has been, uh, it's been kind of a mess lately, but, uh, as I said in my previous video, AI is not my specialty. I'm honestly still learning. Y yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out myself, guys, so please stay patient with me. I really do appreciate you following along and watching and uh yeah until next time